Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So this is actually take two on this box. Um, this is going to be the curated bead box. And this is the second time that I'm recording this because the first time I recorded it, my voice was doing that whole choppy robot thing, which I don't really know why it does that or what causes it, what prevents it or anything like that. But anyway, um, it wasn't a very long video to begin with, but I'm going to try this again. So this is called, um, I actually started putting stuff away uh, when I went to go edit the video to boost my sound and then realized that I sounded like a choppy robot. So I was like, oh, all right, well, that's not going to work. So anyway, this actually came off of the box. This is the inventory list. So uh, that's all I have to go by. So I went ahead and cut it off of the box. So it's called Curated Bead Box and it's labeled Golden Days. And um, I will leave the link for this box in the description for you guys. And let's get started. So first of all, uh, I'll set this aside and let's see. I don't remember what everything was. I know I probably should, but I don't. Um, that was actually one of the things that I was commenting on. I really wish they had a list where you could reference the item with the inventory list. Um, but they don't. So you're just going to have to like kind of go with the flow. So I just zoomed you in just a smidge. So this is going to be the... Um, Let's see, what are you? The Antique Gold Rustic Glass Pearl Beads, 16 inch strand, string, whatever. I thought those were super pretty. And this is actually the gold that I'm more accustomed to working with. So I think that it'll be a lot of fun to play with. I think the challenge is going to be using the beads like this. This one is going to be the 10 millimeter gold Druzzy styled glass bead. I believe. Um, yes. Okay. And then this one is the 12 millimeter iris crackle spray glass bead. I really like those. Um, these are going to be the eight by six gold fauceted drop glass beads. And see this, this is what I'm going to have to really put my thinking cap on for, because I don't typically use colors like this. Um, put it this way in all of my bead storage, I have my beads separated by color. I do not have them separated by style. I don't have them separated by, you know, vendor, like where I bought whatever, with the exception of my uh, subscription boxes. I have those separated out per box, like the curated bead box will go in its container, the bargain bead boxes go in it, their containers, and so on and so forth. Um, but beyond that, they are not separated by vendor. They're separated by color. My yellow is actually in a Ziploc bag like, like this. But I have all of my large beads, medium sized beads, and seed beads all in a quart size Ziploc bag. And it's in my container with my orange <laughs> because I just don't have that many. Um, and they're not big containers. Um, let's see. I'll show you. They kind of look like that. Oh, well, you can't see that. They kind of look like this. They're not big, not at all. Um, it kind of looks big for you because I've got it zoomed so far in. But this container happens to be my spacers. But as you can see, they're not sorted by color. They're sorted by, our, these particular beads aren't sorted by color. They're sorted by style. It's just all spacers thrown in there. Um, but anyway, most of them are sorted by color um and my yellow yeah i just just don't have a lot of yellow so it's gonna be a challenge i think to kind of put a thinking cap on and figure out what we're gonna do with that but i think it'll be fun 
So anyway, these are the 8x6 gold faceted drop glass beads. Uh, these are the 6 millimeter pale gold faceted glass beads. You can get them to cooperate. Okay. And then these, I absolutely love, love, love the shape of these beads. Um, these are going to be, which ones were these? Oh, the 10 by 4, 10, uh, 10 by 4 millimeter gla uh, crystal pressed glass disc beads. And it's a 10 inch strand. I will most likely order more of these because these are really, really cool. And I love crystal beads because they just go with everything. You can add crystal to any color and make it really, really pop. So there's that one. And then these are the 28 millimeter black foiled handmade lamp word, lamp work glass beads. Thought those were really cool. And with my last, um, video that I just had to delete. I was a little confused as to why they're black because they're not actually black. They're like an amber color. But eh. I mean they kind of look black with the shadow, but not even. They're just amber colored. I don't know, but they are very cool. Um these are going to be where are you? The six millimeter black gold leaf style glass beads. So I thought those were really pretty too. These are the 10 by 16 bronze metal chandelier. There are four of these. So that's what the back looks like. And those what the fronts look like. Oh, and these aren't in a bag because they were in a bag and then I just kept ripping a hole through the top of it. So then I just decided to cut it because I couldn't get it open. I just kept ripping a hole through the top of it. I just cut the top off. I mean, these are going to be in different bags anyway because you see how like dusty they are. Uh, these are going to be the 20 millimeter gold foil handmade lamp work glass beads. Nope. Those are really pretty. And I do have some projects with my other subscription boxes. I did want to get a couple more projects done before I made a video showing you guys those. Just kind of an update letting you know what's happening. All right. These are What are you? Not 6 mm. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I think these are the 10 mm gold dressy styled glass beads. And these are the pale gold fauceted beads. That's what it is. So these are the pale gold fauceted and these are the dressy. Whatever that means. Dressy. But they look cool. Wait. And that's it. So, um, yeah, it's actually a, a little bit shorter than the last time I recorded this. Um, oh, and then I got to go over the extras. I don't know if this is a, a normal they send or if it was just this box or what, but this actually isn't on this list because I have a list here and none of the stuff is on there. So we've got some stretchy cord, which will be really cool because I've not made a stretchy bracelet and that was on my to-do list to, you know, play with and see what I can come up with. So there's stretchy. I got a kick out of this. There's five hoops or hook earrings, earring hooks. There are some jump rings.
some head pins, lobster clasps. There are four of those. Some crimp beads. Some beading wire. And last but not least, there is, I don't remember how many were in here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Well, there's probably six total rings of memory wire. So that's pretty cool. And I could do a lot with that. And make a six ring brace, uh, bracelet with that. So that's pretty cool. And I really enjoy playing with memory wire. So that'll be fun. So anyway, that's it. That's it for the curated bead box. And like I said, I will leave the link for this in the description box for you guys. Um, go check them out. They're really fun. I love getting bead subscriptions because if nothing else, they kind of challenge you to do things that you don't normally do, kind of make you ponder a little bit and think outside your box. Like for me, for instance, all this gold is going to be a challenge. So um, give me some time. I am a couple boxes back. I am currently working on the February bargain bead box. Um, I'm working on those projects right now and I will update you guys when some more of those get, ha um, get done. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.